Hey everybody, welcome to Vacuum Wars. This week I've been testing the brand new Kenmore Intuition bagged upright vacuum. It seems like a well-designed, lightweight, really versatile vacuum with a lot of extras that are typically not found with vacuums in this price range. So links in the description and let's get started. First, the basics. There are two main models of the Intuition, the BU4020 and the BU4022. They are currently the same price and besides the color, the differences seem to be about the type of attachments and and the number of bags it comes with. I think the Kenmore Intuition was probably designed to be a bagged alternative to the Shark Navigator Liftaway 300 series. In any case, there are a lot of similarities between the two vacuums, so I will be comparing them to one another a lot in this video. Starting off with the pros, the Kenmore Intuition is very light compared to the majority of upright vacuums, which is important if you're vacuuming large areas or have stairs to walk up and down. The Kenmore was heavier than the Shark, but only by about 10 ounces or so. They're both much lighter than average vacuums. The Intuition is also very versatile in that you can remove the pod from the floor nozzle for above floor cleaning jobs, which they call lift off instead of lift away. The Kenmore also had an integrated wand for larger debris or getting to hard to reach places. On that point, I liked the longer wand. I always thought that the shark wand on this model was just a little bit too short, at least for my preference. The Kenmore's power and performance were also really good. I measured 87 CFM of airflow at the hose, 72 CFM at the head, and 80 inches of suction at the hose, which is almost exactly the same numbers on the Shark, except for the airflow at the head numbers, which for some reason were a pretty good amount higher on the Kenmore. This seemed to be confirmed on the crevice pickup test, where the Kenmore did much better than the Shark. It also seemed confirmed on the unsealed suction test, where the Kenmore seemed to beat the the shark by about the same margins. So I think it's safe to say that the Kenmore has more power at the head than the shark and really the average vacuum, which is a good thing. In the deep clean test where I test how good it can pick up sand that has been embedded into medium pile carpet, it scored a perfect 100, as did the shark. Another pro was its performance with debris on the surface of hard floors and carpet. It has a fixed height gate system just like the Shark, but the Kenmore's gates are a little bit bigger and thus a little bit better with larger debris than the Shark's on hard floors and carpet. The extra power on the Kenmore also helped with hard floors with heavy and fine debris. It did have its limits, just like the Shark, but that's where the wand on both models earns its keep. It also has a switch where you can turn the brush on or off for hard floors or carpet. Another pro is its filtration. It has a sealed system, which I'm a big fan of. It has two filtration systems, the bag itself, which is a high quality HEPA material, and a post motor filter, which is probably also a HEPA filter, but I'm not sure about that. It also has a patented bag release button that even further reduces your contact with dust. So it's well above average if filtration is a big concern of yours, especially in this price range. Its bag has a fairly big capacity at 3.1 liters, and the green one at least comes with a year supply of bags. It has LED lights, which I think make a big difference. It has some well-built attachments, including a suction power turbo brush on the green version. Some final pros, it has a 30-foot cord instead of the 25-foot on the Shark. It has a bag level indicator, which is a nice touch. It has a five-year warranty, and finally, it is sold at a pretty reasonable price. As far as the negative stuff, one of the main things was the hair tangles. It was about the exact same amount of bad as with the Shark at this test, and really most upright vacuums aren't great with hair tangles either. But I would have preferred an easier way to clean the roller, like if it popped out or something. It was nice that I could at least remove the floor head to work on it though. While most of the reviews I read online that mentioned weight said that the Kenmore Intuition was light, there were some people online complaining about how hard it was to push on thick carpet or shag rugs. This is because like the Shark Navigator, the Kenmore Intuition doesn't have a height adjustment, which is meant to simplify things, but it does cause this issue with very thick carpet or rugs, which is why both the Shark and the Kenmore have a suction release valve to reduce suction to make it easier to push on thick carpet or rugs. Most of my other cons were just nitpicky kind of things, like I thought the wand took some getting used to in order to replace correctly. Same thing with the little bag mechanism, it took me a minute to figure it all out. Also, the cord hook was really hard to turn at first. 
but really there wasn't a lot to dislike about the Kenmore Intuition, and I think it's a choice that people that prefer bagged vacuums will be glad to finally have, and at this price, it may cause a lot of bagless fans to try a bagged vacuum for the first time. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.